Hey guys, sup? Scottish Duck here once again. Right, Valkyria Chronicles 4 got announced there, and uh, yeah, let's do a video on it. You know, it's, it's quite funny actually, you know, I just did like that video, with my top 20 PS3 games, Valkyria Chronicles in the top 5. Uh, I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but I went on like Twitter after the announcement and just saw like quite a bunch of people tell me about it. It was honestly like the first time... Uh, maybe not the first time, like, Shenmue 3 obviously happened, but I was just, I just saw it all and I was just compelled and, like, compelled to, like, make a video, because it's like, okay, clearly I gotta talk about this, don't I? And, uh, yeah, Valkyria Chronicles 4. Valkyria Chronicles 4, God damn it, That was unexpected. Like, I, I saw the whole countdown thing that Sega was doing, and it was March 20th of November. Um, I was expecting, like, some sort of, like, mobile card game or some shit like that, you know? But no, it's a full-on Valkyrie Chronicles 4. God damn it. It's going back to the original style, apparently. Um, incidentally... No, actually, we'll, we'll get into that later. And, um... Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be... Super good, so... Joy! Uh, I'm very much, like, uh, <laughs> Still in a bit of a huff with Sega. Uh, after, like, uh, Sonic Forces. You know, I still have to do a video on that, don't I? Um, but this is a good way to you know, attempt to pull me back in, you know, you, you gotta get the impression that this must have been in, like, development around the same time, like, Valkyria Revolution was, you know, because Valkyria Revolution was definitely, uh, I'm gonna say, I, I haven't actually played it, to be fair, but I, I, I've i looked at it, and I know what, I can tell it's like, yeah, that's not Valkyria Chronicles. It was probably Sega's biggest stinker, more so than even Forces of 2017. Um... And it's funny because I remember when it first got announced and like a lot of people freaked out about the gameplay and stuff and Sega actually apparently took like the criticism on board and applied some like new changes and that but obviously it doesn't look like it worked out that well. But yeah, um, Media Vision, who were the developers of uh, Valkyria uh, Revolution and Valkyria Chronicles 3, you know, they've kind of been like handling the franchise um, for a good few years now. Uh, but this one, Valkyrie Chronicles 4, is going to be developed internally at Sega. Now, that's the thing that really, like, uh, interests me. Uh, they've got, like, all of the, um, uh, the, like, the original composer and all that. I don't think Shuntaro Tanaka is back, though. I haven't heard anything suggesting he is. For those of you who don't know, Shuntaro Tanaka was the director of the original Valkyrie Chronicles, and he was the director of Skies of Arcadia. Mm-hmm. You know, I always knew that the guy who did Valkyria Chronicles and the guy who did Skies was the same person. But I feel real bad because I just, like, learnt his name the other week there. You know, you'd think I would have caught on to that, but no, I didn't. But, uh, yeah, I don't know if he's going to be there. I really hope he is. Just would feel right, you know, but, uh, yeah, he's, um... Uh, but a majority of the other staff is there, including, like, the composer and stuff. So, I'm happy to hear that, definitely. And uh, <coughs> the art style, holy shit, like, we got, like, um, not necessarily gameplay, we got some screenshots, but the uh, trailer was all, like, cutscenes and that. They are fully going back to the sort of, like, um, watercolor, like, painting style of the original game. I think it was there in the PSP games, but I honestly couldn't tell you. I, I've not even played Valkyria Chronicles 2, I'll, I'll probably get to that in a minute, but, uh, yeah, it looks just like the first game, which is great, you know? It doesn't look like it's um, much different technically from the first game, to be honest, which, you know, isn't too bad. I mean, the first one has aged flawlessly, as far as I'm concerned, with its wonderful art style, you know? Although another uh, factor to it could be is that it's going to be coming out on the Switch as well. That's really cool, you know? It's going to be multi-platform, you know? Valkyrie Revolution was, was on the Xbox One as well as the PS4. But this one's going to be PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. You know, a lot of developers, they're just clamoring to that thing, I swear to God. Um, but yeah, that's going to be awesome. Um, but main main thing definitely is that they're back to that art style, i got to say. And one other thing, this is going to be a massive, like, pet peeve. This is a massive pet peeve of mine. I'm just going to rant about it here very slightly. I hated, like, the character design that occurred in, like, later games as it went on. Like, um, hold on. Like, uh, the first game, right? You know, it's very much like a World War II sort of storyline. You know, you've got all these characters that you want to follow, get all the way through, that fight in your army and stuff. And they all look like they're part of the same squad. They all wear the same uniform, which, but they have, like, their own little, like, unique 
quirks to it, like Alicia had her little uh, bonnet thing, and, uh, well, her did you even cry those things between your I don't know, you know what I mean. But, uh, yeah. Then, like, in Valkyrie Chronicles 2, they went all high school with it. And, uh, yeah, then, like, I've only seen Valkyrie Chronicles 3 and Valkyria Revolution. Valkyria Revolution took the R piss, by the way. I still remember, like, watching the very first reveal trailer and be seeing, like, the main lassie that's in that game. I don't even know her name, but she's fighting on the battlefield in a white frilly dress and like red long bows and her flowing hair and it's just like, Hen, you didn't belong here, why are you here? And it's not just the Lassie characters by the way, the fucking, all the like guys as well are like made to look all gruff and cool. You just, I hate character design that you just look at and you're like, yeah they just want to sell figurines don't they? Like the main guy on the cover of Alkyr Revolution, you know he's just like, with his long trench coat and ruffly hair. I swear I'm not Joker from Persona 5, you know, so, I don't know, it, it drives me mental, like, it's it's a massive pet peeve, and while each of the characters shown in the trailer, you know, uh, do have their own, like, unique designs, they're not all wearing the same uniform, they at least look cool, you know, they at least look like they're ready to kick some ass in a semi-fantasy style, like, World War II battlefield, you know, I buy it, basically, and, uh, yeah, it's, it really does, they, they were really emphasizing like the sort of stuff that happens in the story. The new setting, which uh, involves like, you know, snow and all that. And they do, that will probably factor into the gameplay and stuff as well. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, what can I say? Sega, don't fuck this up, okay? <laughs> I'm just, uh, you know, it's like, um, just, just to elaborate a bit more, you know. Uh, I know I tend to like, talk about a lot of Sega related stuff. And I put Valkyria Chronicles really high on my PS3 uh, game list, just there. Um, but my love for the series really does just stem... Just really does go to this one game. I've not played 2, I've not played 3 obviously, and I've definitely not played Revolution, you know? You know, now that I think about it, that's probably the case for a lot of people, you know? They're only really... F so it's like, to me... This is the only Valkyria Chronicles game. I don't care about the other ones. That's kind of how it is in my head. But this one really looks like the sequel we should have gotten ages ago. It's like, in my mind, this is pretty much Valkyria Chronicles 2, you know? Uh, mental to think like that. But, yeah, it's, um... I, even though I say that, I can't whack it. Can't whack this game at all, you know? It is absolutely brilliant. Um, it's just, I, I guess it's like... It's not one of those franchises that... I beat one, really like it, and I have to go and play all the other ones, you know, I just beat it and I'm like, okay, that was really, really good, and I kind of just leave it there. It's a weird way of looking at things, I could probably ramble on about it for ages, but I'll not bother there. The fact of the matter is, either definitely play this, you know, uh, you can get it on Steam, uh, and you can get this uh, remastered version on the PS4, which is still wrapped in cellophane, I should really, should really play through this again, you know, this would be a good opportunity to crack this open and uh, go for it, you know? I mean, we saw like screenshots of like potential gameplay of Valkyria Chronicles 4. The interface and all that looks identical. It really does and that's a good thing for me, you know, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, it's gonna be good. Well, at least I hope it's gonna be good. I'm still mad about Forces Sega, but you're, 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 you're starting off 2018 fairly well. I'll, I'll give you that. And my boiler's just going off, it's not, should probably end this video. Well, that's that, guys. Um, yeah. This is probably the part where I add some obligatory, are you looking forward to Valkyria Chronicles 4? Let me know, and all, all that shit, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> See you after, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.